you just have to move. You actually have to move your body while listening. Uh-oh. Damn. You ready? Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Peter Barber. I'm a professional opera singer and music producer. And today, after many a recommendation, we're gonna be checking out We Got the Moves by Electric Cowboy, a, what is it, a German electro core band. I looked it up. I might've forgotten the terminology slightly, but I'm very excited to check this out. I've heard uh, many a good thing. And, and because of my background as, a, as an electronic music producer, and among many other things in the musical world, they were recommended to me a lot. So I'm excited to check this out. Guys, if you stick around to the end and I've enhanced your electric cowboy experience, if you learn something about the music, which is my whole goal here, please do consider joining my Patreon family. You can check it out for free and then join for benefits starting at $1 a month. Uh, that's the best way to support me, for real. Keeps the lights on, helps me, has helped me, you know, create this studio, which, I, which I'm which i still working on, but, but very happy with and proud of. Uh, let's get into it. Electric Cowboy, we got the moves. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> Summer mood, hot sand under my feet. Cold beer, cheap wine, yeah, that's all that we need. We got the moves. No way. We got the moves. Then everybody's like, oh, fuck, yeah. That's the way to go. We got the moves. Oh shit! <laughs> Love everything. Every okay. So I also in the brief bit I read about them, just to get a brief background, they do a lot of comedy music, right? So it's supposed to be, it's like awesome, but it's also funny. It's supposed to be funny. Um, there's a lot happening here. I love the bowl cuts. They're phenomenal. We got the uh, dick shaped, dick shaped drinking glass. We got uh, all of them dress the exact same. I don't know what's happening, but I love it. And then we got this like very much straight up techno beat with hard kicks and, you know, really bright, um, aggressive sounding uh, synths, you know, right in your face, these lead kind of saw wave synths. Um, awesome. Let's go. It's a lot happening already. Perfectly builds up too, right? They get that higher synth coming in, building in, rising. The vocals start out very speech-like, no real pitch there. And then everything for the first 20 seconds is just very gradually rising until it turns up to 10 for, you know, that final line before we get into what I can only assume is the chorus when they go on, you know, full on harsh vocals, full on gritty vocals. Um, and then all the instruments just, you could kind of get hit with a wall of sound. One more, one more time from the top. This is great. You just have to move. You actually have to move your body while listening. Summer mood, hot sand under my feet. Cold beer, cheap wine. Yeah, that's all that we need. We got the moves. We got the moves. Then everybody's like, oh, fuck, yeah. That's the way to go. We got the moves. We got the moves. When everybody's like, yeah, that's the This is a crazy blending of genres, and I love the comedy of the drummer doing, like, the stereotypical, like, you know, doesn't need to be doing this with his hand before he hits the next snare, but does. Um, the vocals are so insane. I just, I love the, the blending of genres and the style of music matched with, like, these super bright colors and, like, these very kind of reserved outfits and haircuts with the glasses, and there's guys just going absolutely ballistic. Oh, this is wonderful. I see why this video has 50 million views. And it's so cool because now, I mean, most of the, not all of them, but, but you know, techno is very purely electronic, right? But here we have a lot of live instruments, not playing live, but I mean, analog instruments, right? Non-electronic instruments. We got the drum set, we got these these heavy electric guitars. Now I know that's electric, but I'm talking about synthesizers when I say electric. Synthesizers and samples. 
especially. There's all these live instruments too, but they're pumping like with, with the same pulse as techno, which is all electronic traditionally. Um, very, very cool. It's actually, one more thing I'll say, it's very, not common, but it happens often where dubstep artists will have their songs remade by metal bands because a lot of the sounds and the soundscapes are, you can you can kind of do them one-to-one -one with like heavy, heavy metal versus dubstep and vice versa. I've heard metal bands have their songs remixed by dubstep or heavy, heavy electronic producers because of that. Because a lot of the heavy sounds can be both done with like, you know, heavy electric guitar or a synthesizer. They both work. <laughs> ah! those are i mean this singer's ripping all the way up to tenor high c and of course some kind of mixed belt approach but like a lot of range and a lot of versatility vocally like we've heard really harsh heavy vocals you know with all the grit and turbulence in the sound we've heard the lower speaking register stuff and then we get some like very high belting with like clean, very high clean belting, not not with harsh vocals. Really cool versatility here. That's me right there. <laughs> I love this breakdown when everyone's just, that's it. We just got this techno beat and heads, heads pulsing. And that's, that's all that's going on. If I were in F minor, just wanted to check that. So same exact thing for the second verse. It starts out, I mean, as chill as this song gets, which is not very chill, but pretty much straight up techno beat. Our lead vocalist is down more in the speaking range, and then slowly they introduce those higher synths. His voice is rising until we get, we got the mouth. We get all the way into the harsh vocals. Over a period of about 10 or 15 seconds, we go from rel, you know, comparatively chill to comparatively pretty hardcore. Building. <laughs> this is the per just a perfect music video too. They got the mini pony. I just like everything they're doing, like whatever the director was going for, they're nailing it, right? Everything in this vibe fits perfectly within the vibe. It's like, this is, this is one reality we're looking at. Um, really, I, it's, it's so great when a music video really not just matches the music. Like you could, you could, you could shoot this music video a million different ways and have it match the music. But when the music video matches itself, right? When the music video works start to finish, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Musically, second chorus, you know, pretty much the exact same as the first chorus. Maybe a couple added elements here, but um, mostly the same. And the second verse is similar as well. So musically very similar, but fully captivated by the music video here. Up. 
So before we go on this this kind of bridge section, the, a lot of the the melodic instruments have been taken away. It's mostly just drums and these like really low heavy guitars. Where you still you still get the chords, right? You can still tell what chords are happening, but we don't get any of the higher synths or higher instrumentation. The vocals are pretty much void of a real melody of any kind. Um, so it's it's it sounds less um, yeah just less melodic, less harmonic in that sense. So this style is much closer to what's called hard style EDM. Um, I can explain this pretty quickly, just the difference between a couple. So for like dubstep, it's very stereotypical to have like 140 BPM and a kick snare alternating. So, right, something like that. For hard style, it's just, it's just all kicks every four and usually a lot of stuff in addition to that kick. So you might have a kick and a snare and a big you know brassy synth happening so it's just like just like it's so, it's like the most aggressive in your face kind of music i've never really been a big fan of it I'm, i used to go to a lot of edm shows and whatever i was going to see someone in the lineup would be more of a hard style producer not my thing really just not the vibe i go for when i'm going to shows but this is a a, a pretty good example of of what hard style sounds like these just massive hits on every single beat I didn't realize that they all now, everyone who's entered the party now has that, that bowl cut that they're all wearing. That's, that's awesome. So that's section two, right? There's the the melody is but outside of that, there's no melody. There's no melody in the voice. There's no melody in the so it's like almost devoid of like notes aside from that. So not not unusual for like hard heavy music. You know that's a lot of the time how it is, but uh, just interesting to, to see, because they have had very melodic moments in this song. Tons of harsh vocals in this. This is not what I was expecting at all. What's interesting is the first part of that most recent section had more of a dubstep vibe where it was like, <laughs> right? It had more of that kick snare pattern and then it went back more like hard style. Not really though, but there were, there were hits of some kind on every beat. So cool. The one just happened to be the ones I was just explaining. You, you kind of get a feel for them back to back here. Kind of dubstep. One, two, three, four. <laughs> we get some higher harsh vocals there, right? Like really airy and higher. Uh, super cool. I'm actually about to start doing deep dives into um, how all those vocals really work physiologically. Uh, Elizabeth... A friend of mine who runs the Charismatic Voice Channel is has gotten really big into actual vocal research and doing research on singers like Will Ramos, um, 
and other harsh vocal singers. And so that's something I really need to dig into because I want to be able to talk more extensively about that kind of singing, but I'm, I'm no expert in that at the moment. Slipping on booze on a sunny beach We're alive, we believe That summertime memories We're young So we got, you know, in the much more melodic section Down section, right, drums are gone, heavy bass is gone um, We just get the vocals and just the, the chord progression, really on booze on a sunny No, but sorry, we do, get, we do have bass It's this very, you know, stereotypical buzzy bass synth um, with his vocals over top of it. Singing clean, too. No harsh vocals in this section. This is an absolute anthem. Like this is this is a bop. You're trying to get hyped, and I totally understand the the summer. This is like an intense summer anthem. Um, it's probably about to start start spiking in popularity as we're now uh, as I record this. We're in early June. Um, I'll put this on this summer if I'm trying to get hyped. Do like an outdoor workout. Throw this on. Let's go. Last chorus very similar to the to the first two in terms of you know arrangement, instrumentation, vocals, all that stuff. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Listen to that absolute epic drum fill. That's the only part I want to flag, but... Just a huge drum fill there. Right here. Oh. What is he los? For peace, I get up on! <laughs> a German bodybuilder comes outside the house. Oh man, that was so much fun. Thank you guys for recommending that one to me. Really, really enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you enjoyed hanging out with me for these 20 minutes. If I enhanced your electric callboy experience, please do consider joining my Patreon community. We would love to have you over there. I'd love to hang out with you and chat with you one-on-one -on -one in the Discord. Uh, it's kind of the best way to, to engage with me these days. Um, so hope to see you there. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Leave recommendations below as well. Peace.